guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have another knitting basic tutorial for you and this is going to be how to horseshoe cable. More specifically, we are taking this cable from this month's free pattern, the Natalia sweater. We have lots of videos on our channel showing you how to do right crossovers. So this one, we're going to show you the left crossover that you combine with the right crossover to create the horseshoe effect. So there's a couple things that you need to get started on this tutorial. Firstly, you need your yarn. Today we are using Zarina in color number 1510. The original is of course knit in red, however, I really love this color. You need a set of needles in US 4, and you also need two cable needles in a US 4, or something like interchangeable needles, DPNs, whatever you use to keep your stitches. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do to get started is cast on our stitches, of course. I cast on 28. It's going to be variant depending on the size that you decide to knit for your Natalia sweater. But for the purpose of just this swatch, um, you have to knit at least, at least 16 stitches in an even number. So after that, we're going to do our setup row. So this is in a garter rib stitch. The entire pattern, the entire sweater is knit in garter rib, and then we also have cables combined in there. So to set up the garter rib, what we're going to do is knit our first stitch. This is the setup row, so this would be what your row number one would be. Then we're going to purl two, and knit two, and then repeat purl two, knit two, all the way across the row until you get to the last three stitches. For 28 stitches, it will end correctly, and the last three stitches will be purl two and knit one. But no matter what, whenever you get to the last three stitches, make sure you're ending on a purl two and knit one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this row, and then I will meet you back up for the cabling. Okay, you guys, so we are back. We just finished our setup row, which was establishing the garter rib stitch. So for the second row for garter rib stitch, all you're going to do is knit across the front. You're gonna repeat those two rows, so the purl two, knit two, all the way across, row odd rows, and then knitting across even rows. You're gonna work that for 14 rows until you're on row number 15. So now I'm going to show you how to do the 626 left cross. So this is, again, like I said, a horseshoe cable, one half of the horseshoe cable, but once you know how to do one, the other one is exactly the same, just leaning the other direction. So what we're going to do is get to the point where we're going to start our cable. So for my particular swatch, I have to knit the first five stitches, um, and then I'm going to be on the rib row where I want to start my cable. Again, all stitch counts will be different depending on the size that you decide to knit, and also where you are in the pattern. However, this is just to show you the basic mechanisms of how to do this cable, and also how to do the garter rib stitch. So now I have knit my first five stitches and what I'm going to do is take my one of my cable needles and slip the next six stitches off and onto it. Whenever you're knitting cables, it's really important that you don't hold your gauge too tight, otherwise it can cause problems for you later. Um, so I always try and just be a little bit extra conscious whenever I'm knitting cables to do so. So then after I took the six stitches off onto my first cable needle, I took the next two stitches onto my second cable needle, and I'm just gonna let both of those hang out in the front. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my working needles, my left and right working needles, the bamboo needles, and knit the six next stitches off of my left needle onto the right. 
Again, the cable needles can get in the way and be kind of annoying. Uh, just have some patience with it and eventually you'll find a system that works for you. Let me just double check that I've done six. One, two, three, four, five, I have not, and six. Okay, so now that I have knit those six off of my left needle, what I'm going to do is take the second cable needle, the one with two stitches, and I'm going to, just to make my life easier, I'm gonna pop those stitches back onto my left needle. Just because I find working with too many cable needles can sometimes get a little bit crazy, but feel free to knit those stitches directly off of that cable needle. So once I've done that, I'm just going to knit those two stitches off of my left needle and continue. So that's one and two. Okay, so this is where it becomes especially important to knit a little bit loosely. I'm just gonna loosen up those stitches just to make sure I can actually work the rest of my row. Make sure they can kind of easily slip down the needle. Bamboo needles tend to be a little bit more sticky, which can be a benefit or a downfall whenever you're knitting cables. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the second cable needle, the first one actually, and knit those six stitches directly off of it. I'm just gonna knit those last three and come back to you. Okay, so I have got all of my stitches off of the cable needle now and I am just going to finish knitting the rest of this row and I'm actually gonna work a couple more rows in the garter stitch, garter rib stitch, just so you guys can see a little bit more clearly what this cable looks like. So I will meet you back in just a couple minutes. Well, for you, seconds. Okay, you guys, so there we have it. I just knit up a couple extra rows so you can really see how I have two cables in this swatch now. So like I said, this is the left cross. You're going to combine this with the right cross. So obviously one leans to the left and one leans to the right. Um, the only difference with the right cross is you're gonna slip six, the six stitches to the cable needle and hold them in the back. Then you're gonna slip two stitches, hold it in the front, and then knit the six, step, six stitches from the left needle and continue the same way you would for the 626 left cross. I'm gonna insert some pictures of the Natalia sweater kind of zoomed up so you can really see what that horseshoe cable looks like when it's combined. Or you could just do this cable by itself in any other project because it works up really pretty. I love how it looks with the garter stitch, garter stitch ribbing. It just creates a lot of visual interest and so much texture in any garment you will knit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit a like and comment down below and subscribe to our channel. And also be sure to check out the Natalia free pattern for this month when you sign up to the Filatura de Crosa newsletter. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.